What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu, the tech guru, coming straight at you. Today, I have a little bit of in information for you regarding the Alpha Jackal Tactical Shotgun. Uh, now, for those of you that aren't aware, Crisis 3 was released yesterday in the United States, and I played a bunch of it. Man, I am just loving this game. Unfortunately, I got this gameplay on the map airport, which was in the demo, so, um, you know, my first video of Crisis 3 after its final release uh, is not on a new map, unfortunately, but it is using the brand new gun, the Alpha Jack Jackal Tactical Shotgun. Now, it was in the Stalker Pack, which was one of the advantages of me pre-ordering the Hunter Edition. <clears throat> so... Uh, I just first I guess I want to go over the statistics of the gun itself all guns are based on a t or stats of guns are based on a 20 point scale so the first statistic of the gun I want to cover is accuracy out of 20 the accuracy of the alpha jackal is 6 so it is definitely a close quarter combat uh, weapon you're going to want to get up up close and personal in their face with this gun since the accuracy is only six. <clears throat> the next statistic I want to go over is the rate of fire. It's, it is a semi-automatic shotgun, um, but unlike the Marshall, which is the default shotgun in the game, it is semi-auto, not pump. So the rate of fire is 12 out of 20 versus the Marshall, um, has a significant lower rate of fire. Uh, looking at the stats of the Marshall, the rate of fire on that is only four, and that's because it is a pump. You have to pump it uh, after every shot. Um, so the next statistic I wanted to cover is the um, the range. Now that this is what another one of the downsides to shotgun is the range is only four on it out of a possible twenty, and. So that's a disadvantage to the default shotgun, which has a range of six. So it does have a little bit longer of a range. Um, the Marshall does compared to the Alpha Jackal Tactical, which is um, you know something that puts you at a disadvantage with any shotgun. It's basically its range. So that's something to keep in mind. Is it does only have a range of four out of twenty. Uh, the next statistic is the damage one, which is obviously one of the more critical statistics of a weapon. It has a total damage of 14 out of 20. Um, again though, this falls short of the Marshall, which has a full 20 out of 20 for its damage. <clears throat> uh, and then finally, the last statistic is stability, which is basically recoil. Um, but there is something that I'm not quite certain on what the numbers mean. The stability of the Alpha Jackal is 12 out of 20. Now, I'm not sure if a higher number is better st for stability or the lower number is better for stability. Like, for example, the stability of the Marshall, which I believe has a ton of kick, is 4. So I'm guessing the higher the number means it's more stable, which means it has less recoil. So the stability of the Alpha Jackal is 12 out of 20, which uh, is an advantage over using the Marshall. Um, now, for the attachments of this shotgun, there are several. Um, you can either use the reflex sight or the rifle laser sight. Now, those are unlocked at different levels throughout the gun uh, level and you know you will see them appear in your selecting attachments in customizing your equipment now for the barrel the end of the barrel attachments the only one is the suppressor which I actually got unlocked again due to pre-ordering the hunter edition and getting the stalker pack and then finally the under barrel attachments there's three you can have a foregrip which increases your stability by two. You can have an extended magazine, which obviously you know uh, increases the amount of times uh, you can fire your gun without having to reload. And then the last one is the hologram, which is able to, it's like a decoy image projector. And um, I'm not gonna go over any of the, what the attachments or perks do, 
but uh, I just wanted to point out those are the attachments that you can put on the Alpha Jackal tactical shotgun. Now you can see in the background that I'm doing pretty darn well with the shotgun. Um, some of the modules that I would suggest running with the um, Alpha Jackal, currently I have these ones set up in my class. I have the armor transfer which allows you when you kill someone it restores a certain amount of your armor back to you. Now there's uh, three different tiers for every single module. Just think of modules as perks in the Call of Duty. But the main difference between Crisis 3 modules or perks compared to the Call of Duty series is that you can put any module in any uh, tier slot or perk slot or module slot. So you can either use armor transfer you know, in perk slot 1 or module slot 1 or in slot 3. It doesn't matter. They're all interchangeable. Um, so I'm using armor transfer for my first module and like I said tier 1 increases your armor energy back to 10% more after you get a kill. Tier 2 is 20% and tier 3 is 30%. The next module that I use is the point fire enhance which basically it reduces your hip fire spread and tier 1 is 15%. Tier 2, it reduces your hip fire spread by 20%, and Tier 3 reduces your hip fire spread by 25%. And the last perk that I would strongly suggest running with the Alpha Jackal Tactical Shotgun is the Maneuverability. Now, Maneuverability is unlocked at level, I want to say level 18. Uh, let me look here real quick under Progression and Unlocks. Yes, level 18 for your character is maneuverability is unlocked at level 18. Maneuverability allows you to run around the map um, way faster and it's definitely something I'd suggest with the Alpha Jackal Tactical Shotgun. Um, there is a tier 2 which increases your ledge grab and vault speed and then tier 3 you have no falling damage. Um, so you know the Alpha Tactical or the Alpha Jackal Tactical Shotgun, man, it's a beast. I like the shotgun. Some may say it's overpowered, but <clears throat> I don't know, to each his own. I'm having a lot of fun using it. Hopefully you found this video informational and helpful. And if you did, um, you know, give me a rating. Let me know what you thought of the video. And subscribe for more because I have tons of more Crisis 3 videos coming. I'm really enjoying this game. Looking to add some more people on my friends list. So if you play Crisis 3, uh, send me a friends request at Ubuntu Addicted. You know, send me a message first. Let me know uh, how you found me and uh, why you want to add me as a friend. And uh, that's about all I got for you today, guys. I will see you on the battlefield. Ubu out.